In this tutorial, I will show you how to model an electric circuit using ComSol Multiphysics. I will use a simple circuit consisting of three resistors and a capacitor, as you can see in this diagram. So we can go to the model wizard. Uh, to model an electric circuit, we do not need any geometry, so you can select any of these. I'm going to select 0D. And under the AC-DC module, you can find electric circuit. I am going to model this in the time domain, so we will choose a time dependent study. You will see that modeling a circuit is uh, extremely easy in COMSOL. Uh, all you have to do is uh, insert the different components and then you need to uh, define the nodes and then click solve. So we have this diagram. You can see I've already uh, labeled the different nodes. We have zero, the ground. And uh, each node exists between the components. We have a total of four nodes, uh, inclusive of zero. So the ground is already defined by default in COMSOL, and it is given a node name of zero. So we will insert the first resistor. You can see there are a bunch of different electrical components that you can choose. Uh, we will use only resistors and capacitor in this tutorial. Oh, and before that, I need to insert a voltage source for the resistor. You can see the voltage source here. So the voltage source, we will assign it. It will be DC. We will assign it a value of 100 volts. And the positive node where the uh, current exits the, uh, uh, the voltage source should be assigned as 1. And the negative node should be 0. So 0 is where the current enters the voltage source. 1 is where it exits. This is the, uh, defined by N and P. For the resistor, we will use uh, 20 ohms for the first resistor. The current enters at uh, node 1 and exits at 2, so we don't have to change anything here. And then we will insert a capacitor. We will use a capacitance of 1 millifarads, and you can see the current enters at node 2 and exits at 3. So we'll define 2 and 3. And the capacitance will be 0 0.001 farads, or 1 millifarads. And the initial charge uh, voltage of the capacitor is 0. The second resistor is 100 ohms. The current from the capacitor at node 3 enters the second resistor and it exits at the ground node. Now the final resistor has a resistance of 10 ohms and it is connected from node 2 to the ground, 0. So 2 and 0. So that's all you need for the electric circuit. Uh, if you have a more complex circuit, of course, you can insert different components here. And all you need to know is the nodes. So you can start with the diagram on a piece of paper. You can label all the nodes, and then you can insert those nodes uh, in COMSOL. And uh, that's all. And then you can click on solve. We will save, uh, we will save the result from 0 to 1 seconds in steps of 0 0.005 seconds. We don't have to change any settings, uh, any other settings. So we will click compute. So you can see how simple it is. We don't need any geometry and we don't need to create any mesh. And the solution is very quick. Now we can plot some results. So let's look at the voltage across the capacitor. Insert a global node. And we can look for the capacitor voltage under devices. We have C1, which is the capacitor. 
and we can select voltage. So we see that the voltage, we, we started at zero, and then as the simulation progresses, the capacitor becomes fully charged. And the full charge, at full charge, it will have a voltage of 33.3 volts. Of course, when it becomes fully charged, the current flowing through the capacitor drops to zero. So we can verify that, change voltage to current. And we see we, uh, the current flowing through the capacitor starts at the maximum and it drops to zero as the capacitor gets charged. Uh, we can plot uh, the current flowing through the third resistor, which is the resistor here. So the current initially starts with some value because uh, at time t equals zero, some current uh, is going to get divide, divided between this branch and this branch. But as the capacitor becomes fully charged, no current passes through this uh, branch. And uh, this, this segment of the circuit essentially becomes an open circuit. So the current flows only through the first and the third resistor. And that's why you can see that the uh, current through the uh, third resistor increases over time. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, one more thing I want to mention, if you have another physics interface like a magnetic field or an electric uh, uh, current interface, you can couple it with the electric circuit interface. There is a feature over here. Um, so the external I versus U and external U versus I. These two can act as either a voltage source or a current source in which the voltage is taken from the uh, physics interface. In this case, we do not have any physics interface, so these two features are uh, uh, not useful. But if you have another physics interface, you can insert the, uh, uh, this node uh, or feature and under voltage, instead of uh, putting a user-defined value, uh, the value will be defined from the other physics. So there will be another option here in which, which you can select, and it will take the voltage value from the physics interface. So uh, this makes it a very useful uh, uh, interface uh, when you want to couple it with uh, another physics. And uh, it's a very useful alternative to importing a, an electric circuit from PSPICE or any other software. Thank you for watching this tutorial.